Hello all. Good morning. How are you? Hope you are all doing great. We are all praying for you. For your protection and safety. Uh, thank God for the wonderful life he has given us. We will pray and start today's class. Okay. And our Nandri Sulla. Nariya per Nariya Prachne Hiller Kanga. Samadano Ilamar Kanga. Kavalay Oder Kanga. Ipri manage Pandra Abdin Puriamar Kanga. Lockdown period. Stressful are Kanga. Lala Pedichi. Daddy Kala Pedichi. Mummy Kala Pedichi. We will pray for the, all the people, those who are suffering like this. And God is so faithful for us. Timely help. Uh, help as a, a needed time. Uh, so we have to be very grateful to God. We will pray and we will start the class and uh, we will ask God to help us to understand uh, the lesson, the concept, what we are going to learn today. Okay? Wherever you are, close your eyes. We will seek the presence of God. We will ask God to help. A loving Heavenly Father, thank you for the beautiful day. One more day to see in our life. Lord, many people are not there, those who were yesterday. So, we pray for all the people, those who are suffering. Thank you so much for giving us life. Help us to live peacefully, usefully to others. Lord, we are praying for today's lesson. Help us to understand the concept, Lord, without any distraction, uh, without any trouble. Let us learn. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we will start the class. Good morning, dear students. To continue with our uh, phylum. Phylum Annelida, it is a segmented worm. A Latin term, it is annulus. Annulus means a ring. A Greek term, it is idios, means form. Okay, it is a, a ring like a segmented form. That is why it is called annelida. And annelids were the first segmented animals to evolve. And uh, to see the external or morphological life forms, habitat, it is aquatic terrestrial, free living and parasitic. Aquatic, it can uh, live in water and terrestrial land living might be and free living, it uh, never uh, depends upon other organisms and parasitic, it depends on the other organism for the nutrition. So, four different forms they have and they are triploblastic animal, they are ecto, Meso and endoderm, three layers are there. And uh, they are bilaterally symmetrical. What is bilaterally symmetrical? When you draw an imaginary line, when you have a cut, two equal halves we can have, then that is called bilaterally symmetrical. And they are schizocelomates, a true uh, body cavity will not be there, a false schizo. Um, body cavity, so schizocelomates and they exhibit organ system of uh, body organization. Um, till in um, the previous uh, phylum we have seen that is uh, organ or uh, tissues, uh, tissues level isn't it? Now uh, organ system of uh, body organization we have and uh, coelom, coelomic fluid that creates a hydrostatic skeleton that helps in the locomotion in annelida. Annelida, we can have example earthworm. So, there we can see the uh, body cavity. I have shown you already while learning this. Cut. And 
their elongated body is uh, metamerically segmented and the body surface is divided into segments children see here equal segment uh, we have uh, learnt last year also in leech isn't it so internally and externally also it is segmented and internally uh, it is the each segment is uh, uh, separated or divided into the septa or the division is called uh, septum separation and that is a partition so they are called or this phenomenon is called metamerism and uh, you can see it well in the this is uh, heteroneris you can see the diagram here and coming to locomotion locomotion uh, last year itself we have seen what where uh, uh, in um, leech we have seen the circulatory and the system is developed and uh, circular muscles and longitudinal muscles they are helpful in the locomotion i want you to refer that this is leech this is circular muscles and it is uh, the longitudinal muscle of the uh, leech body wall of the leech actually and these two uh, muscles they are very much helpful in the locomotion of the annelids children and uh, coming to the aquatic uh, annelids just now we have seen nearies uh, they have got uh, lateral uh, uh, parapodium or lateral uh, appendages they are called parapodia see these are the parapodium they are helpful in their locomotion okay and uh, they, how they are helpful they are helpful in the swimming and uh, the body wall the chitinous body setae body setae and that is helpful in the earthworm and suckers in leech we have seen already and that is helpful in the locomotion able to help me children in nearies parapodia for swimming in earthworm body setae is helpful in locomotion then in leech a uh, suckers anterior sucker posterior sucker we have learned isn't it so that are helpful in the locomotion coming to the circulatory system it is a closed type uh, lower form of animals we have seen already and respiratory pigment hemoglobin and chlorocruorin these are the respiratory pigments that are helpful in the annelids and a nervous system a paired ganglion connected by the lateral nerves to the double ventral nerve this also we have seen in leech children and even in the earthworm last year we learned this isn't it and reproduction uh, reproduction is uh, done through the sexual uh, reproduction so sexually reproduction is taking place and development direct and indirect both direct or indirect that takes place depends upon the organism and larval stage is uh, Uh, present in annelida and uh, larval uh, stage we can take this is a trochophore larva so this is the larval stage in the annelida and uh, uh, forms of uh, life we can take um, uh, both uh, earthworm earthworm is uh, monoecious monoecious means hermaphrodite and dioecious a uh, different form male and female differently and that is a uh, nearis example we can see so these are the uh, general characters of annelida you can see you can see few examples earthworm nearis just now we have seen this isn't it parapodia okay and this is leech last year itself we have learned about this so these are the examples of annelida coming to phylum arthropoda arthropoda 
போடா பொடி நோ போடா பொடி போடா மீன்ஸ் லெக்ஸ் ஓகே ஆர்த்ரோ மீன்ஸ் ஜாயின்டட் ஓகே போடாஸ் பொடிஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஃபீட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் மோஸ்ட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் கேரக்டர் லார்ஜஸ்ட் ஃபைலம் இன் தி அனிமல் கிங்டம் கிங்டம் அனிமாலியா comprises uh, phylum arthropoda as the biggest group and uh, it includes insect uh, children wherever you go insects insects la chinna kutti ond poochil rendu perusa irukradhu varaiku gigantic a irukra insects varaiku we have this uh, largest group and a total species of this insect is 2 210 million 2 2 10 million species we have in insecta itself now insecta insects remember what are the insects uh, that comes to your mind now mosquitoes isn't it house fly cockroaches then many are there what are they millipede centipede um jointed appendages prawn all these are arthropods only children and uh, coming to the general characters they are bilaterally symmetrical you can cut imaginary line into two halves and they are segmented we have seen already and this is also triploblastic animal and it is also schizocoelomate and organ system uh, grade of uh, body organization it has so well developed uh, uh, organ systems it has children and coming to the locomotion they have uh, uh, jointed appendages for locomotion this jointed appendages is not only used for locomotion but also in feeding and they are uh, helpful in sensory also so sensory different uh, appendages they have for uh, locomotion sensory and for the uh, feeding we have seen isn't it a typical appendage antennule and antennae mandible maxilla this is maxilla and uh, second maxilla this is uh, maxi uh, maxillipede and uh, second maxillipede third maxillipede and uh, uh, chelate legs all these are the different varieties of appendages they are used children for locomotion for feeding and for also what for the sensory and they have got uh, uh, chitinous uh, exoskeleton we have and what is this uh, chitinous this is a chitinous it's like rubber but hard in portion okay chitin is in uh, exoskeleton and it is used for the protection of the body and uh, to prevent the body uh, water loss and uh, coming to uh, a cockroach and all uh, this uh, chitin is uh, uh, exoskeleton children exoskeleton means outer covering children so this outer covering in uh, cockroaches uh, even in locust uh, grasshopper periodically they are shed off and they are called or the process of shedding off the uh, external uh, uh, covering is called molting or egg digesis egg digesis okay this is the periodically shed off process called molting or egg digesis and coming to the body uh, structure body is uh, divided into head uh, thorax region and abdominal region and the body cavity has got hemocele and respiratory organs we can have uh, different organs in this uh, arthropods they are gills book gills book lungs and trachea all these are the different respiratory organs that are helpful in the respiratory process in the arthropods coming to the circulatory system it is open type mm, children this is a lower form of animal it is like what we have seen already it is one channeled isn't it so no blood vessels are present in this lower form of animals arthropods and coming to the sensory organs they are antennae uh, just now we have seen different types of antennae isn't it so antennae eyes compound eyes simple eyes both can be present or these or this 
either can be present and stantocyst they it is called as a organ of a balance and they are used for the equilibrium children what do we have in our body for organ of equilibrium what ear is a organ of equilibrium isn't it so for arthropods stantocyst is the organ of equilibrium a uh, statocyst you can see it here one second see this is statocyst okay this is used for organ of equilibrium and this is compound i for the sense organ omatidium each unit is omatidia and a lot of omatidia are present here and uh, this is helpful in the eyes children okay then coming to the next part is called excretion the excretion we have seen it is a malpighian tubules green glands and coxal glands what are they malpighian tubules coxal gland and green gland in uh, a uh, prawn we can see this uh, green gland uh, very easily mm, malpighian tubules you can see it here it is a malpighian tubule that are present in cockroach children and uh, in prawn we can uh, see i'll take prawn this is malpighian tubules in the digestive system but it is useful in the excretory product Okay, one second. I want you to see the green glands also. So, materium. Appendages. Different parts we have. This is the green gland. Okay, excretory pore. The end sac. It is a duct and it is a bladder. Okay, it's a green gland. Okay, in the arthropods. Okay, then forms we have dioecious and oviparous. They are dioecious. We know monoecious what children? It is otherwise called a hermaphroditic animal. Animal which has got both male and female uh, organs in the same animal, isn't it? But uh, here it is dioecious. Male and female are separate, and they are oviparous. What is oviparous, children? Oviparous means egg laying. animal fertilization it is internal and development both direct and indirect can be seen and the life history includes larval stages and that is followed by the metamorphosis even in mosquito metamorphosis imagine eggs will be there and the larval stages will be there larval stage in the what in water isn't it then the adult form will be there so life cycle that is seen in the the arthropods and uh, good example we can take is what uh, mosquito we can take a grasshopper we can take silkworm we can take children all these are arthropods okay few examples you can see from our book itself what are the examples beautiful colored prawn hermit crab locust a limulus it is a living fossil interesting character spider children that is also arthropod only scorpion tail this is also included in arthropoda only okay so a beautiful uh, uh, terms we have seen anopheles mosquito house fly and economically important insects are there in this arthropods group honey bees silkworm Laxifer, that is lac insect, arachid, and gregarious pest, locusta, locust. If you want to say Pakistan, then you want to do so. Now, China, then you want to do so. Now, all the uh, we have faced this, isn't it? So these are the beautiful characters of arthropods. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hope you understood the part. Okay, I'll send you what to do in the classwork. Thank you, children. May God bless you.